Hi everybody, Mrs. Byrne here. I am so happy to be um, leading this video for you today because one of my favorite things to do on an iPad is to use iMovie. iMovie is the way that I edit a lot of projects, you can see, and we're going to make one together today. So the first thing you wanna do is go to the plus. Today we're not doing a trailer, we're going to actually do a movie. So right here you can see that I have a whole bunch of things in here already. Um, but we're going to use the photos that we've been working on, the ones that you've been editing to tell a story. So I'm going to go to my photos and I put the little heart symbol on the three I wanted to use so that I wouldn't lose them. And they are these top three, so I'm going to select them and then I tap create movie at the bottom of the screen. So now it put my three photos in, but you know what, they're out of order. This is not the order that I wanted them in. So I want the one that says good morning to be first. So I tap on that one with my finger and I move it over to where I want it to go. Then next in my story is the one of the scared face and then last, phew, the heat was on, but I made it through. That is my whole story, the three pictures. Now, sometimes I like when the pictures move like that. Sometimes I don't. And I think for this one, I don't want them to move. So I tap on my first picture. And Ken Burns is a very famous director of documentaries. That's why this is called Ken Burns Enabled. That means that the picture is going to move. And I could tell it where I want it to start. Like maybe I want it to start really big at good morning. And then at the end, I want it to show the whole picture. That could be cool. Let's try it. I actually like that. I'm going to keep that. But for this one, I definitely want it to start at um, the flame because that is the most important thing. And then I want to end with a full shot. Let's see how that looks. You know, I don't really like that. So I'm going to go back to this and I'm just going to click on Ken Burns and now it's disabled. So now it should show me the whole photo the whole time. And I like that. I think that looks good. And then at the end, phew, I made it through. Now I want to adjust that one so that it starts really big on the face and then it ends with the whole shot as much as it can. Okay, excellent. Now some other things that I can do while I'm in here is I can change the transition. So maybe I want it to slide to the next shot like this. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Another thing I can do is I can make this picture longer so it'll actually play for a longer amount of time. I can also add, this is a very kind of dramatic picture, so maybe I want to add a sound effect. I go to audio and I could use soundtracks, but I don't think I want that for now. My music, no, nah, I want a sound effect in this one. So I want it to sound, um, I don't know, maybe a little scary. So maybe I'll have uh, the suspense. Yeah, I love that. Let's put that in there. And do you see how when I hit the plus, it went right into the correct spot? And I can make it go twice, or I can make it just go once. And maybe I just want that to go during my clip so I can even make it a shorter clip. That'll work too. Another thing that I can do is I can add filters. If I wasn't happy with my editing in the first place, I can edit it now. Um, I can also add titles. Any of these would work. And if you go to settings, which is the gear at the top, you can see that you can even add different themes so that your titles will look different. I also really like the fade in from black and fade out to black. You can also choose to use any of those themes throughout your entire movie. You can add a title card at the beginning of your movie. Um, you can add other media 
from other places. And over here, you'll notice that if you still want to take a picture, you can. But I don't really like using that because then um, I can't, I, I prefer to use the, take the pictures in the camera app, in the photo app. Also over here is a microphone and I use this a lot. Um, this is to do a voiceover. So say I want my movie to say something, I'm just gonna hit record. Good morning. And now I added what my character is saying. So I accept it and let's listen. Good morning. Cool, so I've got the beginnings of a cool story. I'm gonna keep playing around and make sure that I like everything. I can show my audio by pushing the little wavelength thing on the right. I can undo by pushing the arrow. And really what I want you to do is just play with this for a while. If you need to spend at least 20 minutes just playing with all the buttons. Make sure that you really understand what each button does. And if you're not sure, Ooh, did you hear that car go by? If you're not sure, you can always go up here to the question mark and then that shows you what each button does. And you can always, just like in editing, you can always undo. So don't be afraid to experiment and try things out. Then when you're all done and you really think that you like what you've made, you go to done and you click on the title because you are gonna title it um, iMovie 101. This is our first um, project in iMovie and 101 just means like it's the first one and then I also want you to put your name on it so I'm putting my name on it but you're gonna put your name on it then this is a very important step that a lot of people forget don't throw it in the trash do <laughs> download it to your camera roll so it saves to your library the button on the left this one will play it full screen good morning that's great but really what we want is the middle button and we're gonna save the video to our camera roll and right now small is fine because the higher quality is great when we're actually sharing something important but this is just a project where we're experimenting so small quality will save quicker and that's what we're looking for right now now I'm back in Schoology and we remember that the discussion we're working on today is called iMovie 101 so I click on that, then I go over to the discussion, go to the plus, and I'm gonna attach. Now, just like we did last time, I'm gonna choose from the library. I'm gonna go to recents, and for some reason, my re most recent thing always saves at the bottom, so just be aware of that. I select it, green check mark, green check mark again, and then remember that you have to write something in this box. It doesn't really matter what you write as long as something is filled in here. Then I hit the green check mark again. And this time it might take a little bit longer to upload, but that's okay. So once it's uploaded here, then you'll be able to watch it and you'll be able to watch others. So step one of what you're doing today is you're going to use the pictures that you already took. Don't waste your time taking new pictures and don't waste your time editing new pictures. Use the ones that you already took and edited. Go to iMovie, make your new movie. Remember it's a movie, not a trailer. Remember to save the video and rename it with your name on it and upload it to Schoology in our new discussion called iMovie 101. Then, after you've done all that, that should take you at least a half an hour, then you're going to watch a few other people's movies and write a comment on it that is specific and positive. For example, I really like how your breakfast um, went from happy to scared to relieved. That shows the director of the film that you watched that you really paid attention to what was happening and you gave something specific that you liked about it, okay? So if you have any other questions, you can watch this video again, you can ask a friend in the class, 
or you can write in the chat, write me a little message. Today I'm trying to be very quiet because a lot of people are doing voiceovers, myself included. So I'm trying not to chat on Zoom, but you can definitely write a message. So I'm not gonna speak out loud back to you, but you can chat with me, okay? All right, good luck, and I can't wait to see the movies that you make. Bye.